My name is Wehancha Dumakwani. I'm 19 and I'm doing a BCom in Marketing Management. I decided to do a BCom in Marketing Management because I've always been fascinated by the business world, but more in like advertising and marketing. I think when I was in my first year, um, one of the many challenges that I had as a student was the lack of motivation. I really didn't have like the energy to do stuff. I procrastinated a lot and I had a lot of anxiety. And I remember there was like a point where I couldn't go outside because I was really anxious about actually seeing other people and having to interact with them. I was like struggling with this one thing, right? Like it yeah. literally, I couldn't even move on with my life because like it was like an obstacle, but like I couldn't like get down to the point. I couldn't like pinpoint what the problem was. Yeah. And second was like, maybe you should write a letter to yourself, like a letter and like just tell yourself the stuff you've always wanted to know, you know? Yeah. And I did that and it was so easy. I literally like wrote the letter and I was like, hmm. I needed them. Um, I think it was mostly because I realized that my grades were dropping, so like my marks were like dropping and I was like, I, I need help and um, I needed help with like stress management also, like time management or stress management because when it comes to time management, I really didn't know how to, man to manage my time. Like I would spend most of my time with my friends instead of studying. SciCAD has recommended a lot of um, resources to me and a lot of ways to manage my um, stress, I guess, and they've given me resources to help with my issues. This is one of the many facilities that SciCAD has to help its students perform better and have a better relationship with academics generally. And this is the Career Resource Center. So if you have career related issues, you could come here and get help about it. We have um, practitioners to help with that if you need like career guidance. Also, if you need help with CV writing or even writing a cover letter or finding a job even, actually, there's help for that. I feel like my anxiety makes me just not do things. So like if I have something to do or like something is due, but I didn't like prepare for it. Instead of actually doing the thing and like maybe failing, yeah. I would like just not do it. I'll just sit there and be like super anxious about it, but like not actually do something about it. Did you tell the psychologist that I care about that? No, <laughs> I'm gonna tell her. But like, we usually just talk about different stuff. Like, I never bring up my anxiety. We usually just talk about like my depression oh. and trying to figure out like where it stems from and stuff. Because like, I really don't get why I'm depressed. It doesn't make sense to me. Because I have a good life. I have a good home life. My parents love me. So like, I just don't understand. Yeah. Yeah. So like, we're just trying to find the source. And she did explain to me that like, it's not necessarily that there has to be like a cause. Like sometimes it just happens. Yeah, you know? it happens. And. Yeah. Yeah. I always have oil. I always have like everything never runs out. It's always stuck. Yeah, it's always stuck because um I'm scared of being shouted at. My mom would literally yeah. shout at us if something ran out. She'd be like, we, we are misusing that thing or like we, we we're so careless with things and then things just don't come from the sky. Oh, yeah, she yeah, has to yeah. work for those things. So yeah. It's so weird how like our upbringing literally affects every part of our lives. Yeah. Like, Cause like now she's not even here. She's not even but, here. But like you're still thinking yeah. about her. I think with me it's more money. Like the way, cause like I spend money like it's not coming back. Like, I'll, I'll never do that to my kids. I'll never shout at them because I know how it can affect them when they grow up. Like I still have nightmares of my mom shouting at me and I was just wake up at night I'm, I'm, I want to cry but I can't, yeah, I'm sweaty. Yeah. She's cautious about everything because they would like, there were so many of them and they would even sleep without food. She feels like it's gonna run out, we will not have food, so she's trying to avoid it. I feel like it's also... So it's like, generational. It's, yeah, it's generational. Because they helped me with time management, I found that my grades would improve, I guess. They improved because they also helped me um, have a better relationship with my marks and school in general. I feel that all students could benefit from SciCAD because they have a lot of resources, including counseling and career guidance. And you don't necessarily have to have a problem or like a mental illness per se. Because sometimes you just need a judgment-free zone to like express yourself, basically. I find that I use the tools that I've gained from SciCAD in my daily life.
I find that I have better time management. I'm happier actually, and I'm getting better grades too. And um, because I have learned how to find the source of my anxiety in general, like you can like think about it and you have to like take a step back and think what is making me so anxious right now and then tackle it and then you are able to move on more with your life rather than if I didn't know and I was just like going through life generally and um, with time management I find that I have a better work-life balance and um, I'm able to like pinpoint my goals and my priorities better. The University of Johannesburg, the future reimagined.